These cuddly frogs behind me may be not doing so well in your backyard. That's right. Apparently your lawn is giving frogs a sex change. So things are not going well for the frog population in the United States right now. Our populations are plunging both nationally and globally. Evidence has been mounting that a agrochemicals that are being used in large farms, uh, some examples are the corn farming and soybean farming, are wreaking havoc on frogs and one of the biggest things that they're doing is shifting the sex ratio in feminizing males. Now frogs are interesting. Many types of frogs can actually change genders depending on their social and societal structural needs but oftentimes these fertilizers are causing big problems. Now when we're talking about your yard for instance it's a little bit of a different story. So here let's talk about it. So. In America, we love our lawns, right? The great symbol of United States suburbia is the lawn. They cover about 31 million acres of our land mass, which is about a third of the territory that we devote to corn. Now in the United States, corn is our biggest crop. Now, what is significant about this? A new study coming out of the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America is showing some interesting data on what happens when your country is populated by a lot of luscious green grass areas with not a lot growing in it. And it screws up the frogs, right? Here is what the study said. One out of every six forested areas has this kind of class of chemicals. So these chemicals that they have, one out of six of a forest area, so a normal habitat for a frog, but one, uh, sorry, 11 out of 13 of these suburban areas are home to these chemicals. Now, there are a particular class of chemicals that people tend to have in their lawn. Now, what's interesting about them is that they are not pesticides, right? When we have a lawn, there tend to be certain types of grasses that grow there. Perfect example is clovers, ornamental shrubs, and they're often added into our lawn mixes. So what is happening here is the uh, amount of frogs in suburban areas have twice the ratio of females to males compared with frogs in the forested area. So we have unnatural frog populations going on in our yards. That is the point of this study. Now the reasoning is not because of chemicals like we were discussing before in this segment. The reason is because of these natural phytoestrogens. But we are still causing the problem because by having a pristine grassy lawn filled with things like clovers and these shrubs, we are actually creating more of these chemicals in the dirt, causing this problem, screwing up the frog population. There you have it folks, that is what's going on in the frog community in the United States. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.